Good afternoon, welcome to my channel. And what I want to speak on today is rationalization of what's really going on in this world, folks. It's high time that we wake up, people. We got to come up out of our slumber, folks, and see and hear what's going on, folks. This stuff is real in this world that's going on, people. Wake up. But I'm going to show you all some clips. I want y'all to listen to this guy attentively, please. But first of all, I want to use copyright claim 107. For educational purposes only, people. One oh, copy, copyright claim 107 for educational purposes. Fair use, folks. I want y'all to listen to this attentively, folks. Because the things that's going on in this world, we need to know, folks. We need to recognize what's going on, people. Just listen, folks. I would say maybe 75% of that statement is true. It's the 25% that you don't get, which is usually the meat. And that meat will give you an understanding about the transformation that's taking place. And I want to get into that. That's why it's important for you to share this. People, our rhyme as we speak, is transforming into a digital food rationing system using biometric IDs. Now, I know 666 when I see it. I know the Antichrist system when I read it. And you would too. The powers know, especially in this generation, that we're seeking information. They know it. It's, it's in our DNA. Naturally, when catastrophes or things happen drastically, we see a gradualistic system happening before us. We want, we want to know why. They know that. They just don't want us to connect the dots. I'm going to say it again. The powers that be know you will just be disturbed. It's in your God consciousness that you'll be like, hey, what's going on? You want answers. They just don't want you to have the proper information to connect the dots. That's why they keep us distracted. That's why they got all these videos and the slap around the world, Chris Rock and Will Smith. All these distractions. That's why they got this going on. Because they don't want you to know about the transition. They don't want you to know. They don't want, they want the least amount of, the least amount of resistance as possible. Do you feel me? Okay? So, there's a full rationing system being set up. Now, here's the thing. What's bringing that on? Number one, the world is going into this transformation, getting rid of, getting rid of let's say, in America, getting rid of the dollar, and they're going digital. But to justify it, after the adverse weather and the earthquakes and all that, and, and, and inflation and food shortages. See how this come, come all about? But do you see what I'm saying, folks? This stuff is real, folks. When are we going to face reality, folks? When are we going to face reality? This stuff is real. As I sit here and talk to you, folks, it is real, people. We have no more time to be playing around out here in this world, folks. It's time to prepare yourself, folks. Just prepare your life. Get yourself in order, folks. Because we got a lot of things coming at us, folks. And it's much more to come, folks. Listen to the rest of this. He's the 666 man. He working for the he working for that spirit. He not that spirit, but He's not, he's not the grandfather. He, he's, he's not the apex. He's a subordinate. That's what I'm trying to tell you. He's working for him. That's why you're seeing these seeds dropping. Now, let me tell you how, I'm going to show you how he's dropping them. I'm tied all this in to Joe Biden because he was in town in Wisconsin yesterday. I'm going to tie all this together because we're talking food. We're talking food, people. When you think about Joe Biden, 
with a twist, right? With a twist, because I, I know people are saying, well, Pearson, you said this before, it's got the twist. When you think about Joe Biden, you think about inflation, gas prices, increased crime, violence, the absence of, absence of border control. Allegedly, uh, they raided the president's home, and he knew about it, allegedly. Student loan fiasco where not only are we taxed to pay for it, but the ones who paid their loans are taxed also. He signed a bill to add 87,000 IRS agents. Arms left in Afghanistan where our servicemen and women died. When you think about Joe Biden, you think about all those things, right? I'm getting there. Then his son's mysterious laptop and the delay of justice, quote unquote. Now on Labor Day, he went to Wisconsin talking about mega attacks, extreme mega attacks. Yes, folks. He spoke on this anger, is what's division. going on, people. This is what's going on right around us, folks. But we're not paying any attention to the real stuff that's going on in this world, people. We got to wake up, folks. We really have to wake up. Yes. Because if we don't wake up, we're going to be doomed out here, folks. We're going to be doomed. And that's, that's I mean, that's just facing reality, people. It's only facing reality. And you know, we must know what's happening before us, folks. Listen to the rest of us, folks, please. And help them, but they haven't. That's part of the twist. I don't care what color you are. If you don't farm, we don't eat. That's why I'm telling you, don't look at this as racist. Understand the game that Joe and them is playing. It's called I-R-A-N. I just told you what they're doing in Iran. Circumstances had to bring the digital thing on. Circumstances will bring the, will bring the transformation here too. You don't want him in charge of that. 63 days we got. Baby, this is deep. This is deep. Operation costs. Just, if you don't believe what I'm saying, Google it, read about it. It will blow your mind. There's a segment segment of farmers who are not getting any help. More than just black. I'm telling y'all, he playing us. Gradualism. I know you don't want to make the mistake Hillary made. That's why he went to Wisconsin. I'll show you some photos. Remember, back in the day, so he's letting it. He's letting it all out, folks. You know, we need to hear the truth, folks. Sometimes in our lives, we need to hear the truth. I mean, the raw truth. Forget all the fake and the phoniness that's going on in this world, folks. We need to hear the truth of the matter, folks, of everything that's going on around us. This is us. the last week to apply for the need to hear yes, we need to hear this. No doubt about it. We need to hear it each and every day. That's what disappointed people do. Their minds and souls stampede all through their body. Did your office of disinformation tell you that or forgot that didn't happen, at least not officially? Yeah, you had to test the waters. From back in the day, he tried this and got laughed out of town. Because in the future, his intent is to control. And you might try to cut this thing off. Do you understand? Do you understand the signs I'm trying to teach you here? Hallelujah. That's right. At least not officially, right? Yeah, you had to test the waters. Thank God the climate doesn't reflect old Germany. But the signs are there. Remember that people, 63 days again, we can biblically bruise the head of the serpent in 63 days and let him go heal for the next battle. Who was that one who said, it's war on an epic scale? No truer words were spoken. When God said at the end of the creation that everything was good, we take that literally 
It's a earth. I mean, I'm just being honest and truthful, folks. It's time for us to wake up. That's, it's time to wake up and face reality, folks. We have to look this thing dead in its eyes, folks. Because right now, we are facing some very dark hours. And the thing of it is, folks, we need to know exactly what we are facing, people. We just can't sit back and relax and do nothing, folks. Like I said, we have to get up now and prepare ourselves, folks. Because if we don't prepare ourselves, we're going to be messed up in this world, folks. We're going to be literally messed up. And this is just the bottom line, folks. It may sound silly to you. But this is real reality that we're living in right now, people. Real reality. And it would behoove you to listen, folks. And catch on to what's going on out here in this world, folks. It would behoove all of us to just take a minute and listen, folks. I'm going to play the last of this clip, and that's it. Because this is real stuff, man. Real stuff. Again, if there's ever time we need a God, we need him now. Please share this. This is very important. Some of you guys are more astute than I am explaining this. Just Google it, what's happening in Iran. They're pushing this system, and they can justify it over here. Because a lot of us aren't, aren't going to want it because we have information. But a lot of us not connecting the dots. Once we connect the dots, we're going to rebel, and they got something for that. So we got to stay prayed up. Holy Ghost prayer, revival prayer, and fast. Hallelujah. We got to fast and pray. Cast out these demons. Vote. Watch the polls. Watch everybody. You are on assignment from this day forward. That's why I'm bringing you this. If you weren't on assignment, you are now. We got 63 days, 666. We got 63 days before we go and vote. We need to make sure any and everybody who back BLM, any and any, anybody who's allowing all these illegals to come over, any and everybody who's in the hip pocket of Joe Biden, they got to go. If you don't know Jesus, this is the time. This is the acceptable time. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whomsoever believe in him shall not perish. So this is what's going on, folks. It's time for us to connect the dots, folks. To everything that's going on around us, people. It's time to connect the dots. I thought this was very important information that we all need to hear, folks. Because a lot of us, we don't read the newspapers. We don't look at the news, folks. We're just in this world living. But God put us all here for a purpose, people. So if you like this work, stay tuned, folks.